<clears throat> Good evening all and welcome to Music and Tea. My name is Darren Muhast Aaron. Um, today we'll be talking about what makes an effective rehearsal. Now coming from the view of a band member, I would want to talk about how you can have an effective rehearsal, enjoy it and make the best out of the performance you're about to perform at. Now the first thing we need to understand is rehearsals is different from practice. There is a separate time for practice and a separate time for rehearsals. You're not to practice during rehearsals. Whatever that you need to put into a rehearsal, you need to have practiced it before coming to a rehearsal. So you would have ample time to be able to perform or to rehearse whatever song or piece that has been given to you for performance. And I think the next thing you need to um, have for an effective rehearsal is to have a directive. You need to have a director that will be able to direct everything that goes on in the rehearsal. It is very pointless to have a lot of people bringing opinions, a lot of amateurs trying to show themselves up, especially in music or live music. You need to have a director that tells you what to do or have an arrangement of whatever song you're rehearsing in a rehearsal. All right, I'm not saying um, having opinions from different bandmates is, is bad. But you need a director who needs to digest all these opinions, weigh them out, and see what works for the rehearsals. Because it's very wrong for you to have all opinions um, taken into consideration during rehearsals. And I think the next thing that you need for an effective rehearsals is to listen and not hear. It is good to have a keen observation on listening because that is when you get to note or you get to be able to, um, let's say, um, keep tabs on every note or every harmony or whatever techniques that you will need for an effective rehearsal. By the time you get to hear these things, they tend to pass. But when you listen, you have a very good memory, keen memory for you to be able to perform well whenever a performance is being required of you. And I think ultimately it's for you to have fun because whatever you do, you need to have fun doing it. Without fun, it becomes so robotic and rigid because that is when you get to put in fusion, put in life, give it the best that you need to give in a performance. And there are a lot of them, but I would want to stop here with these few pointers for you to be able to have an effective rehearsals. See you next time.